An innovative technique called minimally invasive coronary surgery, or known as MIX. There are very few locations around the U.S. that are doing this surgery, but what it is, it's a multiple bypass surgery using a very, very small incision. And this morning, cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. Prim Rabenda is here to tell us more about it. Good morning, Dr. Rabenda. Thanks for getting up with us. Good, good morning, Amy, and thanks for uh, talking to us about this. Yeah, no problem. It sounds impossible. When you think of heart surgery, we think of that huge, long scar because you have such a small area to get in there and work. How does this work? How is it even possible? Yes, it's a little bit more tedious to do this, but, you know, the main uh, idea here is that we're avoiding cutting the sternum or the breastbone down the middle as we normally would to do this operation. Instead, it's a three- or four-inch incision below the breast on the left side and we go between the ribs. So uh, as far as healing time, it's much, much less. Harder for you though. <laughs> it is a little bit harder, but you know, like anything else, if we do it the same way every time, you know, every day, it gets easier eventually. Mm -hmm. So you said for the patients, this is a lot better. We're looking at some video of it here right now, the surgery as well, but is it just come down to when you don't cut through the breastbone? Is, is that why they're up and moving so quickly? Correct. Generally, bone takes about six weeks uh, to heal. And so cutting the sternum, we put it back together, of course, at the end of the operation. And patients would take about six to eight weeks to heal. What we're seeing is that with this new operation, within two weeks, roughly, most patients are back to full speed or can be, theoretically. I've been told that you actually have to tell some patients to slow down, that they feel very good after this. Correct. We've had some <laughs> patients, most of the patients will go through a cardiac rehab program and uh, our uh, therapist there will monitor them and they check things like heart rate and things like that. And so we've had patients get on a treadmill and different machines and push themselves because they don't have that limitation of, you know, the sternum not having healed and having pain there, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So they feel great and they just want to go back into things. You well, know. that's great. Just like all procedures, the mixed procedure, not for everyone. Who's a good candidate for the surgery and maybe who isn't? Well, generally speaking, you know, the smaller size chest. We, we have to be careful not to say smaller patients or larger patients because not everybody who is large will have a large chest necessarily. And by chest, we mean the chest cavity because with the small sort of keyhole incision, we still have to peek in there and the heart can be farther away in a large chested patient. And so that's one of the major criteria right now. Um, other than that, the location of the blockages and, you, you know, which parts of the heart we have to get to is also important. But is so this it's decided on an individual basis, okay. basically. So this is something that you and your physician need to talk about and weigh the benefits and risks. Correct. Yeah. As each patient's come, we will look at certain things, the chest x-ray, the patient size, the, um, the films from the uh, coronary angiogram, and we'll decide based on those things. Well, still exciting that an innovative technique like this is being used right here in La Crosse. Dr. Rabinder, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for that video. Very, very neat. And we hope to speak with you again soon. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good day.